Hey, David, how are you doing? Honestly, life's been great since I became a cartoon. I can express myself in ways only limited by my imagination. Ha, 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 ha. I don't have to wear pants anymore. So life really is more fun as a cartoon. So I'm gonna show you how David and I were able to become cartoons inside a webcam app like Zoom or Google Hangouts using a virtual camera and Adobe Character Animator. So let's get started. Oh, hello, it's me, the pro tip wizard. You can find Character Animator here. And due to the coronavirus, if you normally access the Creative Cloud through your school's labs, you can access it at home until the end of May 2020. Okay, so this tutorial focuses on how to use Character Animator in a virtual webcam app on Windows using free tools. So the way to do that is to use the NDI plugin from NewTek as well as their NDI virtual input. So to get those, go to your web browser and type download NDI here at ndi.tv tools, we have a link. And if I scroll down, there's a download button. And the tools are actually different for Windows and Mac. Mac does not have the NDI virtual input, which is why for my Mac tutorial, I'm going to use a program called CamTwist. So what is important here, the NDI for Adobe Creative Cloud, this plugin lets the cartoon character in Character Animator come out on an NDI signal. NDI is just video over IP. Um, so inside the computer, it's gonna send a video signal. NDI virtual input is a virtual webcam and it can take NDI sources. So that's how it's going to read the character animator scene and then be used in something like a Zoom meeting or Google Hangouts. Oh, hey, me again. This part's getting boring, so I muted the guy. So just download the NDI tools and install them and choose all of the default options and we can pick up really fast. Okay, the installation is complete. I'm not going to read these right now, but you're welcome to on your time. I'm gonna click finish. So now the next thing to do is get Character Animator up and running and then send the signal from Character Animator to the NDI virtual input using the NDI plugin. So I'm going to pick a character that I want to use in a webcam. I like Red Monster here. So you can try any of those characters on that scene. One thing you might want to check, um, you want to make sure that your character is selected and has a little red dot here. That way it will be active. If you uncheck the red dot, then it's not going to respond to your face tracking. Another thing you can do is if your character isn't moving properly, you want to calibrate the webcam. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and you can see that it says, look at the scene panel and then click the set rest pose button below. So I'm going to zoom out again and look at the character. You can see that it's a little off center and click. Now it's calibrated for best movement. So a lot of these characters actually have, so you can see actually, um, I've got a little bad track on my glasses, so I'm going to take those off for a moment. Um, a lot of these characters have a controls panel, so if I click the controls panel here, you can see there's some interesting things that might be kind of fun for a webcam meeting. We've got that. Um, I can, let's see, get the hypno eyes. But in any case, try out the puppets, try out the different things it can do. So one thing I'm going to do is turn off those hypno eyes. There we go. I'm going to import a background so that I can put Red Monster into my own office here. So I'm going to do a file import. And here we go. We've got a picture of the office couch. I'm gonna import that. And I'm going to drag that in here. So now you notice the character's not moving. That's because the couch background is selected. It's a little too small also, so I'm gonna resize it. So with this layer selected, I'm going to just scale it up a bit. There we go. And now my character is in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna select the character and position them down with position Y. 
and maybe slide them over a little bit. And then how about I'll scale them up a tad. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Now I'm ready to send this character into the webcam apps. So to do that, I need to go to my preferences and turn on the Mercury Transmit engine. So here's the preferences. I'm gonna to go to Live Output here. Let me zoom in. And you can see that since I've installed the NDI plugin, that NDI Output is on. Make sure this is checked, this is checked, and then this, disable Mercury Transmit when the application's in the background, you want that unchecked. That can be helpful sometimes, but in this case, if you have the, you know, say web browser in the front, the character's not gonna move. So you want that unchecked. So I think now we're ready to get this going. The next thing I'm gonna do is launch NDI Virtual Input. So I'm just gonna type virtual, and here we go. So if I click this, nothing happens. You didn't do anything wrong. The application doesn't have a normal full screen UI. It actually opens up here in the system tray. So I'm gonna right click, and you can see I have two machines here. Um, Premiere is also an NDI client, and I have to zoom out in order for this to work, but I am going to select Adobe Character Animator here. This is the stream that has Red Monster. So now my webcam apps should be working already. So I'm going to switch to Chrome and start a Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna host a meeting here with video on and I'm gonna click open Zoom. And I'm gonna use my computer audio and you can see that it's actually already working. Oh, wow. Are you as surprised as I am that this guy figured it out? Hey, I've got one last pro tip. If you wear headphones when other people talk to you, your cartoon mouth won't move. If you use speakers, then those sounds will come into the microphone and it'll make your cartoon mouth move. So wear headphones. Which is great. So in case it wasn't working, you have to change your video source here. So next to the little stop video, you can choose different inputs. So I have chosen NewTek NDI video, and I have to zoom out to actually select these. If I choose my webcam, it's not going to work. That webcam is already in use in Character Animator. So you might end up running into that situation, but you just simply choose NDI video, Sorry, I have to zoom out in order to select that. New Tech NDI video, start video, and you're good to go. So I have a character here inside a Zoom meeting so everybody can see, and it's a lot of fun. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start a Google Hangouts meeting. So I'm gonna end my Zoom meeting. Oh, let's record that, that would be an amazing meeting. Okay, so in Google Hangouts, I'm gonna make a video call here. I'm gonna maximize my video call, and I'm not gonna invite anybody because my meetings are all me alone. Oh, here we go, so it's already working. One interesting thing here, Google Hangouts is actually operating different than Zoom. When I tilt my head to the left, the character is tilting their head to the right. So depending on how your webcam application works, they might actually be mirroring your image. And you can see here, I took a picture using the Logitech app and they have L-O-G-I and it's backwards. So Google Hangouts is flipping the image. I'm gonna go back to Character Animator and in my camera and microphone settings, I already have mirror camera input on. I'm gonna disable that. So now inside Character Animator, I am tilting my head to the left. It looks like it's in the right on the camera and microphone panel, but it's to my left, the character's right. If I switch back to the Google Hangouts meeting, now if I tilt my head to the right, the character's tilting to the right. So that's something to keep in mind. So if this didn't immediately work for you in Google Hangouts, you can change your video source here. So you click the gear, and under video, you can see New Tech NDI video. That's how I got the cartoon character. Um, but if I had, like I'd said earlier, if I had chosen the webcam, it's not going to work because that's in use by Character Animator. 
So I'm going to switch back to NewTek NDI video and click done. And I believe three, two, one. Here we go. So I hope that was able to maybe help you get a cartoon character working in webcam apps on Windows using free tools. Thank you.